Okay guys, we hope you're having a great day. This is a little bit of a budget video to help anyone that's coming to the Philippines. This is all purchased in Dumaguete. So this, these items here were actually purchased at Hypermart. So if you're looking at this, this is a popular rice. Pin kilos rice for so that. 10 uh, kilo. Or. And what was that? Six, the price is 647 647 yeah. Okay, guys, you can see on here, we've, we've got the receipt. So there's your 647 guys. Okay. So to give you an idea, if you go through, you've got, uh, their, their onions are very small, but that's a red onion. So for a little pouch of that, it's like 120. You've got ginger, uh, 44. What is this, babe? Asutanghon. So like 1450 14 a pack. 42 pesos for garlic. Um, the eggs have actually gone up. So <clears throat> the eggs you can get, they're all over the place for the prices. One. You can get eggs for 90, 100. Now they're 117 at Hypermart. And then we have some more items over here. What's the price of that, babe? No price on there. No price here. And you know, the girls need their conditioner. How much is that? Two. How much? 220. 220? I thought it was 225, but anyways. Yeah. Four Seasons, Gatorade. So the Gatorade, to kind of give you an idea. Uh, where's the Gatorade on here? Yeah, Gatorade, so that's 107 pesos, guys. So that's a pretty good deal. You know, it's a good size. What is that? A liter? How much? 1.5 liter. 1.5. Uh, some peppers. Pepper 21.90. Yeah, and then we have some sayoti. Sayoti, I really like that. 18. Very and expensive, guys. And then apara, guys, is uh, bisol in the speak bisaya apara. 29.75. 29.75. And ampalaya is 30 to 40. Yeah, and then 19.25 for another package of you know what that she hasn't made any yet. So this total amount, guys, how much do you think this all comes out to? So it's just these items, not the not the fancy. Oh, she's got some items hidden behind there, guys. So there's there's a, your regular female, eh? They always hide the stuff. They they buy little stashes and they hide it. You know, look, look, look at what we found. Oh, we got some nail polish, huh? We got some other stuff here. Forty-three pesos, forty-three pesos, eleven point five pesos, guys. So the total grand amount for this, which the prices have gone up substantially, guys, was seventeen ninety-eight forty-five. So one thousand seven hundred and ninety-eight point four five guys. It's far from being cheap, guys. So many people say, "Oh, how inexpensive it is in the Philippines, guys." Convert it. It's not inexpensive. I find the food here is actually on par or even more expensive than where I shop in Canada. So I don't know where you are shopping, but uh, guys, wake up so that you know when you're coming here. We got some more coming, guys. We did some more shopping, so we're going to follow this up with some more. Okay, guys, to continue with our shopping. So... I don't know, but you know, my girlfriend picked up some more ginger. You would have thought we had enough ginger, but this looks really good ginger. And here we have seaweed. So there's different types of seaweed here, guys. And we, we only pick up enough mangoes because they go bad fussy. So we got six. So like that'll be for three days for, for breakfast. And this is radish, radish, really nice fresh radish. And what's in here, babe? Uh, vinegar for vinegar? the coconut tree. Oh, so that's from the coconut from tree? The coconut so tree. that will be for the seaweed? Seaweed and then the... Seaweed. Yeah, it's the loco. Yeah, and then what's this, babe? It's uh, junk fruits. Junk, jackfruit? Yeah, jackfruit. Isn't that cool, guys? So that's what's inside. You eat the pieces. I've yeah. already and had some of the pieces. Bisaya, guys, is nangka. You know, the Filipino is the calling nangka, but it doesn't speak English, jackfruits. And then what do you pronounce the radish? Is it radish or is it pronounced? Kalamungay. Kalamungay? Yeah, kalamungay. How about mango? Manga. Manga? Yes. And what about seaweed? Uh, gusto. 
Lokot. And ginger. Lui A. Guys, Lui A. That's Pig Cebuana. Lui A. What? Okay. And look at this, guys. So here, to give you an idea, the size of the shrimps that we got, guys. So, you know how to speak Visaya this? Yeah, shrimp. No, it's not shrimp. What is it? Visaya. Pasayan. Shrimp. Pasayan. Shrimp. Speak nice size, guys. So there's a dinner plate, guys, to give you an idea of the size of these. So we ended up uh, getting a kilo. So it's a good bag of shrimp, guys. So a kilo was 420 a kilo. But depending on when you're walking around, guys, you can get it anywhere from 400 to 600. So you have to walk around and try to see if things are priced so that you don't get skin tax or, you know, have your Filipina get it. So there is a little bit of a, hopefully, uh, showing you some food prices to give you some ideas if you are coming to Dumaguete. So very important, you're coming to Dumaguete, guys. This is at, this was at the wet market and the market where it's also. The other one was from Hypermark, guys. So um, I, I recommend to go to the fish market and the, the wet area early in the morning because it stinks, guys. Anyways, we hope you have a great day. Hi, guys. See you later. Say bye. bye. See you on more vlogs. <laughs> bye, guys.